Chapter 2, Al-Baqra, verses 26 to 27. Indeed, Allah is not timid to present an example, that of a mosquito or what is smaller than it. And those who have believed know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this as an example? He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth. It is those who are the losers. It is a great mercy from Allah, the exalted, to mankind that he does not see it beneath his infinite dignity to teach mankind according to their very limited capacity and understanding. One must adopt this divine attitude according to their created level. One must never be shy to do anything which is connected to what is good and beneficial, such as seeking knowledge or advising others on what is good and warning them against what is evil, according to the etiquettes and manners taught by Islam. One must never mistake shyness with weakness. Shyness does not prevent one from doing what is right while weakness does. In addition, one of the great qualities of the Holy Quran is that through it Allah, the Exalted, teaches in a way which is easy to understand and practically apply into the lives of all people, irrespective of the level of understanding or knowledge they possess. These teachings are timeless as they can be applied at any time period and by all people, till the end of time. This is one of the miracles indicating the divine origin of the Holy Quran. It is this miracle the believers understand, those who approach the Holy Quran with an open mind, ready to accept its advice, knowing it is best for them even if it contradicts their desires. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 26. Indeed, Allah is not timid to present an example, that of a mosquito or what is smaller than it. And those who have believed know that it is the truth from their Lord. But those who cannot handle submitting to a higher authority and living by a code of conduct which befits humanity, as it contradicts their desires, will not understand this miracle of the Holy Quran and instead question how Allah, the Exalted, being the Lord of the worlds, could speak about such small and insignificant things, such as a mosquito. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 26. But as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this as an example? They fail to understand that all of creation is similar to the size of a mosquito to Allah, the Exalted, so it makes no difference if he discusses something large in size, such as the sun, or something small, such as a mosquito. Failing to understand this miracle of the Holy Quran causes those who wish nothing except to pursue and fulfill their desires to turn away from it. As they choose to turn away from the truth of the Holy Quran and its simple yet profound teachings, Allah, the Exalted, allows them to turn away and leaves them wandering blindly in both worlds. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 26. He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. And chapter 4 in Nisa, verse 115. If anyone opposes the messenger, after guidance has been made clear to him, and follows a path other than that of the believers, we shall leave him on his chosen path, we shall burn him in hell, an evil destination. And chapter 20 Taha, verses 124 to 126. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed, i.e., difficult, life, and we will gather, i.e., raise, him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, My Lord, why have you raised me blind while I was, once, is seeing? Or, will say, Thus did our signs come to you, and you forgot, i.e., disregarded, them, and thus will you this day be forgotten. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 26. He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. But as indicated by this verse, those who understand this miracle of the Holy Quran and approach it with an open mind, ready to submit to its teachings, knowing it is best for them, will be guided to understanding and acting on its teachings so that they use the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This leads to peace of mind and success in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nile, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward, in the hereafter, according to the best of what they used to do. It is important to note that understanding this miracle of the Holy Quran requires one to adopt strong faith. This is only possible when one strives to learn and act on the Holy Quran so that they can appreciate its miraculous nature. Ignorance will prevent one from understanding this miracle of the Holy Quran and therefore will prevent them from learning and acting on it. 
Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verses 26 to 27. He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth. When one fails to accept and act on the guidance and teachings of the Holy Quran it will cause them to misuse the blessings they have been granted. The connection between a person and using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, is something which Allah, the Exalted, has commanded to be joined. In fact, using them in the right way was the covenant taken from all of mankind before they were sent to this earth, as this an important aspect of accepting Allah, the Exalted, as one's Lord. Chapter 7 Al-Aif, verse 172. And, will mention, when your Lord took from the children of Adam, from their loins, their descendants and made them testify of themselves, saying to them, Am I not your Lord? They said, Yes, we have testified. This, lest you should say on the day of resurrection, indeed, we were of this unaware. The one who approaches the Holy Quran with an open mind, willing to accept clear evidence and submit to its teachings, even if it contradicts their desires, will cause this covenant, which is deeply embedded in the human soul, to re-emerge so that they become convinced of the truthfulness of Islam. Chapter 41 Fusilat, verse 53. We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves, until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. It is important to note that every Muslim retook this covenant with Allah, the Exalted, of sincerely obeying Him, which involves using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Him, when they accepted Islam as their faith. Failing to behave in this manner would cause them to break this covenant. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verses 26 to 27. He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it? When one breaks the covenant of sincere obedience to Allah, the Exalted, then it only leads to abusing the bonds their possess will people, such as their relatives, friends, employees, employers, neighbors, etc. It is the fear of Allah, the Exalted, and upholding the covenant taken from Him which prevents people from wronging others. The government can only go so far in preventing crimes. Justice and peace can only prevail within a society when the fear of Allah, the Exalted, is present. This ensures one does not wrong others and instead encourages them to fulfill their rights according to the teachings of Islam. This reality is quite evident when one observes the societies which abandoned faith and those in history which implemented the teachings of Islam and possessed the fear of Allah, the Exalted. When the bonds between people, families, communities and nations are not maintained correctly it will affect every level of human interaction, such as the financial, political and social levels. The outcome of this is the spread of corruption on a global scale. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verses 26 to 27. He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth? Those who fail to fulfill the covenant of Allah, the Exalted, will destroy the relationships they have with people and spread corruption within the community. This outcome does not affect Allah, the Exalted. It only rebounds on the perpetrators as it leads them to trouble, stress, difficulties and loss in both worlds. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 27. It is those who are the losers. And chapter 30 Aram, verse 41. Corruption has appeared throughout the land and sea by the reason of what the hands of people have earned so he, i.e., all, may let them taste part of the consequence of what they have done that perhaps they will return to righteousness. Dot. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.